Hello everyone, we're all good. Big shout out to everyone out there who likes, shares and comments on this channel. So, something positive. Being invited to this Shine Awards in the Titanic Hotel in Liverpool. It's a recovery based event. There's myself as a guest, Callum Best, Shinita Anderson and Paul Schofield. Seriously, I've got no idea what we're doing, if we're doing anything. Now, for those who watch this channel and don't really know much about my backstory, then I'll tell you a little bit. You know, I've read two books. Yes, I pray before dawn. Now, amazing motion picture starring Joe Cole. Great kid, great actor. And the second book, Fighting for My Life, A Prisoner's Story of Redemption. Both of these you can buy on Amazon. And both of these books are about recovery. About one man's descent into the very depths of hell. Oh, yeah, I'm here. On a positive note, it seems to be full of people in tuxedos and suits, and I'm a little bit blue. Love a little bit of colour, but there you go. And what's your name? I'm Steph. Nice to meet you, Steph. <laughs> Can I grab you? Yeah, it's really lovely to meet you. Thanks you too, for, brother. Uh, thanks for uh, agreeing to having a little chat with me. No worries. Tell us a little bit about why you're here, what it's all about uh, for you. Personally, I mean, there's a, it's a big old event with a bunch of different people involved, but I'm here specifically with NACOA, National Association of Children of Alcoholics. i uh, been a patron to them for the past 16 years, very much focused solely on supporting children of alcoholics. Um, something you've been through, something you know a lot about, something you try to pass on to the next generation to try to help and support them if they're struggling. Uh, NACOA is a 24-hour helpline that supports kids that call in that are struggling at home with parental drinking problems. Uh, 2.6 million kids in the UK struggling with parental drinking. NACOA gets 33,000 calls a year. I know you didn't ask for stats, but it's important to get that point across. And what I like about this is that NACOA is supporting the Clarity Group tonight at the Shine Awards. And this, I thought, was really important to do because when I'm, you have to be realistic, right? It's a sober event, right? Then you go Liverpool. I was at the hotel just now, and I'm like, every fucking time I've come here, I've gone on the sesh, yeah? <laughs> it's always been a mad one, right? And now, you go through these things in life, as we all do, as your viewers would probably know, where it's madness, and then you try to go to health, or you try to get better or do better. Yeah. And even now, today, I'm telling people I'm going up to this sober event, they'll be like, oh, that'll be fun, that'll be a bit, and you're like, listen, if people are struggling, if they want to get better, if they want to be better, who the hell are we not to support that cause? And so I'm here to support the cause. You know what Please. I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, I've been through it all, I've got a colorful past, and I'm here to try to be better, do better, and help people, or at least share shit that might help people do better as well. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks for your time. No worries. Thank Paul and Anna. Paul, you are, you know, it's not your first audio, you've been on TV a lot, haven't you? So tell us a little about, you know, <laughs> what you've been in in the past. And Yeah, I, I uh, well, I used to live in Liverpool. I, I was uh, in Hollyoaks playing a character called Sol. Um, so I was there for four years, did a bit of Brookie as well. Um, and then I uh, lived in America and then come back and then got in the very first Celebrity Love Island. Um, and then they invited me back for the second year um, and then it didn't carry on and then all these years later they did it again. But I've been in Celebrity Big Brother, Celebrity Coast Trip, I've had my own show with Callum, Callum Fran and Dangerous Danan. Uh, I had a, um, my own dating show called Test Drive My Girlfriend for ITV2 where like, you know, I used to test drive the girls. Well, you know, and all set that. them up and all that ended up like le getting me on the drugs, didn't it? Because I, I couldn't handle all the all the all the fame, money, and the, no one t tells you how to deal with it, you know. Yeah. Um, back then, you know, no one knew about mental health. No one knew about addiction. Like everyone was just fucking partying, you know, and it was what it was. But if you've got that type of personality, or that that that, that addictive personality, yeah. That, well, yeah. it's not. It's the disease, isn't it? Yeah. If you do suffer with it then you're going to suffer. And, 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 and I was carrying on while everyone was, you know, 
Do you go to meetings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do fellowship. I do NA. Um, I've got a sponsor, and um, yeah. And how, how, how clean are you now? Well, I'm very on and off, so uh, I'm coming up to a couple of years now. But um, well done. but well, yeah, well done. but um, it's been very tough for me uh, with gambling, with 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 shopping. Um, so it's yeah. just manifested in every area. Well, it, yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's been very hard for me, um, especially. Uh, like, I know probably you hear a lot of it, but when I got diagnosed late in the day with ADHD, I have it severe. And if I would have dealt with that and knew about it earlier, then maybe I wouldn't have used because that you need a stimulant and you need, you're always looking for the next thing because yeah. that's ADHD. It's, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's very, um, it's very connected with addiction. And, uh, but if it's managed, then you feel okay and you don't feel like you need to, I yeah. need to use. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I, ha, yeah, it's tough when, when people say, how clean are you? Because sometimes I feel like I, when I'm shopping and gambling and this and that, um, you don't feel very clean because you've still got that fucking head that's, yeah, yeah. that's not, not quite there, you know? Still shake upstairs. Very much. Yeah. But um, at the same time, when I'm doing the work and I'm praying and I'm, I'm doing what I'm told, I feel okay. Yeah, you're in the power then, aren't you? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I just need the power, man. <laughs> Paul, thanks for your time. Love. It's show, doesn't it? That doesn't matter how much money you've got or how much money you haven't got. When you're an addict and you're in the grip of an addiction, you know, it'll take you to your knees, it'll rob your soul. It'll bring you to places like this if you're lucky. You know, I'll put you in a position to share about it. <laughs> Welcome to recovery. This is the inside of, you know, the event hall. Who oh, is this, Frosty? How are you, Bill? How are you getting on? Good. You're presenting the show, aren't you? I am indeed. Oh, I'll be excited to hear. So, uh, yeah, no, no heckling from you. and he's an author, an all-round good guy. Show your appreciation for Mr. Billy Moore. Thank you. All right, Billy. Thank you. Good man. We're going to look at the big screen first for the nominees in this category, and Billy will announce the winner. Here we go. Okay, Billy, you are the man with the award and the envelope. You've opened the envelope, and the winner is... Rain Gigolo. <laughs> Giorgio. Well in, Ryan. Thank you. Well, what a handshake, by the way. <laughs> He's the power of those hands, Steve. Congratulations, Ryan. Please. Well done, Ryan. Thank you very much. Well, it's just a very more. So, I'm going to introduce you to Thomas. Thomas from Bootle. Thomas from Bootle. <laughs> Thomas, tell us a little bit about your story. What's been going on? So, um, I am a reality TV personality, drag queen, activist, and former alcoholic in recovery for six months. Um, and I am here to 
92% an award that's supported by the LCR. Um, I don't normally go to these things, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's just not my thing. I normally work on the ground in the community. But I think today, because alcoholism has been something that really has destroyed my life and I'm now in recovery and reaping the rewards of that and seeing all these wonderful people who support that, that's really, really important that I'm here. And, yeah, I think... Um, I know some people who can moderate alcohol, but for me it destroys my life, so... Where did it take you, the alcohol? Suicidal, um, promiscuity, just every worst possible thing you can think. I had no self-worth, I upset all my family, I lost a lot of money, I lost a lot of friends, I lost my whole being, and now I sort of feel like I'm rebuilding that. And what a celebration to do that amongst other people who understand how that is and how that feels. So, you know, with the support of local services, break free as well, um, with the butler, I have managed to come through and, and you know what I feel so amazing. So, sorry, it's just really, but I do feel amazing and that's all amazing of me. Brilliant, thank you. school for nice to meet you eventually Paul eventually yeah lovely to meet you nice. too uh, tell us a little bit about why you're here and what you're about I am here because I'm presenting the award tonight yeah. uh, for 12 steps and we are in partnership with them so I have a foundation called Stride Foundation UK and we've partnered with um, Step Together so that we can put people into their treatment centres and they give us hopefully a hefty discount to put them in for me I'm recovered for 20 years so I've been sober for 20 years consecutively well done. from drink, drugs, and all the other stuff. So I'm happy um, to be what's, what's, what's your history? What's, I've noticed that you're on, you know, you've been in a few TV shows and that. Yeah, so uh, I became a fashion model in 1992. You fucking gorgeous bastard, yeah. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging in at 53. So that was uh, in 92. Um, I was going to do it for a year or two. And then basically I ended up doing it, I'm still doing it. But I lived in New York, Paris, Milan, and, and, and really embedded myself in the fashion industry. And at 33, I went into rehab, totally burnt out. Stopped work for two years. I uh, wasn't gonna do it again. And then I found out what recovery was. You could start your life again, which I did. Went back into fashion. Presented a, a show called Britain's Next Top Model. And then did five, six movies, TV show. Uh, some other parts, then I put that behind me and run my charity now. And are you living a life beyond your wildest dreams? Now I've met you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Paul. Yeah, enjoy. Thanks for your time. More than So I'm looking at this, I've been given a bottle of Heineken Zero Zero, alcohol free. It's just been like smoking bash. We'll get fuck all from it. And to be honest, I wasn't really into the ale. But like, it was a bit of a gateway drug for me. Because alcohol is a drug. It's legal. And it takes more people to the grave than... ...schmack, crack, and all those other... ...shitty fucking substances. Well, oh, dancing now. Check it out. Woo! Everyone's bevies on the bash. All right, ladies. Yes. Looking yes. very. <laughs> well, once again, thanks for watching. And if you're out there and you're struggling, just remember, you don't have to be on your own. Reach out. There's people out there that will help you. Take care.